welcome to 21st Century Business. I'm Jackie Bales. With challenges that range from advanced equipment needs and declining labor pools to increasing capital investments and climate volatility, it's easy to see why many professional farmers struggle to survive. To discuss this important topic and the solutions their company, AgCo, provides, we have with us Vice President Matt Rushing and Senior Vice President Eric Hansodia. Welcome, gentlemen. Glad to be here. Thank you for having us. Eric, how has precision farming changed agriculture in the past 10 years? It seems like it is so advanced now. Yeah, that's exactly right. You know, historically, farmers treated their entire farming operation the same. They used the same tillage, same planting, same spraying, and so on, on every field in their farm. Today, what they're focused on is precision farming, which really means treating each spot on the field optimally and uniquely to get the most yield with the least amount of inputs. Today's professional farmer faces many challenges that require the need for real-time logistics, improved and enhanced communication methods, productivity, and continuous operation. Some new technology has user touch points or interaction points, so when we design a new cab or a new seat or a new ergonomic handle, we need to know where it gets placed and how that might affect the way the user interacts with it because software then also has to interact with the user. We consider technology at every step, every phase, and the planning is all-encompassing. Matt, tell us what the term fused technologies means and what that means for modern agriculture. Okay, uh, Fuse Technologies is AgCo's precision farming strategy focused on uh, connecting uh, farm assets to ensure that the farmer is more profitable and produces more yield. Okay, now Matt, what are AgCo's key areas of focus that will affect the modern farmer? Well, Fuse focuses in three key areas for, for the farmer. Um, the first key area is in, on uptime. We wanna make sure that the machine is running um, all the time. Uh, downtime is one of the biggest uh, and most costly um, experiences for a farmer. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that the machine is running uh, all the time. Secondly, we want to make sure that the machine is running optimally. Um, we want to make sure that it's running at its full capacity, the best it can possibly run. We also focused on the logistics topic. So we're making sure that the machine is where it needs to be, when it needs to be there. And that's also critical to keep the operation moving. Um, lastly, we focus very uh, specifically on the crop cycle and the growing cycle for the farm. So we want to make sure that the, uh, the technology that we develop is, is targeted at each section of that growing cycle. Um, we want to make sure that we're not only connecting the farmer with his machinery, but also connecting the farmer with his trusted service providers. So Eric, what do you see in the future of farming for the next five years? Is this going to become the way farming is done for everyone? Yeah, I think um, almost like a marathon race, if you think about the visualization of a marathon race, there's going to be very fast runners that, that sprint off the front. And actually, as those fast runners are getting to the finish line, there's, there's going to be some people who are just leaving the starting line in these large marathon races. I see this evolution being somewhat that way, in that we're going to see customers all the way along that continuum with some early adopters, a large portion in the middle, and then some that are more comfortable with the way things have been done. Our job is to really support that entire continuum of customers and make each of them uh, comfortable with the level of technology and support they're getting from AGCO so that they can optimize their operations. Huh. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for coming on the show today and for sharing the exciting tools and technologies that you're offering at AGCO. Really interesting. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. And for 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. Thanks for watching. <laughs>